now we are going to do regrouping hundreds to tens uh, look at the example so the first sum is hundreds tens and ones seven five nine is the first number second number is 285 step one subtract ones so first we have to what we are going to subtract the ones so we have to concentrate the ones first so I'm just highlighting so the number is okay so what are the numbers in ones place 9 and 5 so 9 is a greater number and 5 is a lesser number you can subtract no problem so after 5 you have to start sub, uh, after 5 you have to count uh, count because backward counting while you go for subtraction always you are doing the backward counting that is after 5 6 7 8 9 up to 9 you have to what you have to count up, up to 9 you have to count after 5 up to 9 you have to count that is a backward counting so 6 7 8 9 that is what is the number that is 4 otherwise you can do 9 in the 9 that is 9 fingers you have to short off that is 9 fingers you have to what fold 5 fingers what are the remaining numbers 4 again I will tell you 9 finger you have to show you have to what fold 5 fingers the remaining fingers how much 4 fingers you can do this also so better you can do one thing suppose the number is a bigger number 13 14 means the greater number is 13 14 or 15 17 like this so you can't do this that is the only reason I have told you you must use the backward counting so what is the number in this what is the number that is greater number is 9 and lesser number is 5 so you have to subtract from the greater number to smaller number so second number so you have to what always focusing the second number so you have to count count the backward counting you have to use the backward counting uh, after this number only you have to count there is 5 9 minus 5 means you have to start the backward counting after 5 okay what are the number is given suppose here 4 means after 4 suppose 3 means after 3 suppose it's 6 means after 6 suppose it is 8 after 8 that is the way this is a backward counting so after 5 up to 9 after 5 up to 9 that you have to reach up to 9 so that is what so 6 7 8 9 so the answer is 4 I have written so subtract 9 once and 5 once the answer is what 4 once I have written the first one is over step 2 I have to concentrate subtract the tens the heading is regrouping hundreds to tens see the answer you have to write 4 that is 4 I have written so now I am going to focusing what tens place value so what are the numbers in tens place what are the numbers in tens place see that is 5 and 8 so 5 is a lesser number and 8 is a greater number you can't subtract so uh, that is 5 tens you have to write that is 5 tens that is sorry from 5 tens you have to subtract 8 tens not practically possible tens, tens that is tens is not enough so you have to regrouping so how we are going to regrouping so you have to borrow from the hundreds so first you have to write that is seven hundreds seven hundreds and how many tens five tens five tens is equal to this seven hundreds becomes six hundreds then and this five tens become what fifteen tens so how are you going to do so five is not enough five tens is not enough to subtract so you have to borrow from one hundreds that means this 700 become this is seven this 700 become 70 700 becomes because you have to borrow from one so this seven becomes six so this one what is 100 means there is 10 tens right so this 100 it's go to the tens place so this five becomes 15 tens I'll repeat once again five tens is not enough to subtract so you have to borrow from hundred place value how many hundreds seven hundreds you have to borrow from only one hundred from this place that means one hundred means ten tens so this seven becomes six and this five tens this seven becomes six hundreds and this five tens becomes you have to borrow from only one tens that is called as one ten that is what becomes this five tens becomes fifteen tens 
so now it's a greater number 15 minus 8 so what you're going to do you have to subtract from so you have to subtract from 15 to 8 to start backward counting i've told you after 8 you have to start counting after 8 means that is 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so 7 the answer is 7 that is what the 7 tens you can get it now i'm going to do the 100 step 3 is step 3 subtract hundreds subtract hundreds subtract hundreds the adding so what are you going to do that is h t hundred tens and ones seven five nine two eight five seven hundred and fifty nine subtract from 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 seven fifty nine i have to subtract two hundred and eighty five so you know that the answer is four and here seven so five become fifteen and this seven is seven hundred becomes six so I have to subtract from 600 to 200. So write here 600 <coughs> subtract <coughs> subtract 600 and what 200. The answer 200. The answer is what? So 6 minus 2 from 6 minus 2. So after 2 only we start counting that is 3, 4, 5 and 6. So 4 is the answer. I will repeat after 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 4, hundreds is 4 hundreds. 4 hundreds. So the answer is 474. This is the right answer for the question. Okay. So from 759 you have to subtract 285. You can get this answer 470. Four. This is the right answer. So now I'm going to do the normal method that is normal subtraction, a traditional very normal and traditional subtraction that is H, T, and O, 7, 5, 9, 2, without regrouping. I'm doing without regrouping. So 9 minus 5, you know that answer is 4. So this is I have to focus the ones place. So 9 is a greater number, 5 is a smaller number. That is from 9 to 5. I have to subtract. After 5, you have to 6, 7, 8, 9. So the answer is 4. I have written 4 here. This tens. What is the number in tens? 5 and 8. So 5 is not enough. 5 tens is not enough to subtract. So you have to borrow from hundreds. I have to borrow from 100. So 100 is equal to 10 tens. So this 5 tens becomes 15 tens only one tens only borrow from here that is what is this 15 so i have to borrow from only one tens from here that is uh, 700 becomes 600 that means 700 becomes 700 700 becomes 600 because i have to borrow 100 from this that is 700 is a 7 what is the number in what is the number in 100 place 7 and 2 so i have to borrow uh, I have to borrow 100s from this 700s. So this 7 becomes 600. So this 5 tens becomes 15 because 100 is equal to 10 tens. That is what. So 10 plus 5 you can get 15. So now it's a greater number 15 minus 8. So you have to start backward counting. So 15 is a greater number. I have to subtract from the greater number to smaller number. So backward counting you have to use up to what 15. After 8 you have to know this 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The number is 7. So you have to write 7 here. So now I am going to concentrate on 100 place value. What are the number 100 place? 600s and 200s. From 6 to 2 I have to subtract. So you have to start doing the backward counting again. So 3, 4, 5, 6. The number is 4. So this is a normal subtraction so the answer is 474 but both sum you can get the same answer same answer so which is your convenient you can take any one method and you can follow the what follow the subtraction you can follow the sum and any one method you can choose 
I but I suggest sir this because it's a is a time because you can if you do the normal method it's easy to what complete the sum because it is not taking much of time but this is a regrouping method you can get the clear answer undoubtedly but it's a time delaying process but that is the only reason I am I'm suggesting this method but if you want to do this method you need more practice so kindly uh, look at the videos more uh, more times then you can concentrate and also you can do the sums more and more you can get a very good marks